Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to remove a crime stat. I've gone to jail a little bit too much in Star Citizen lately, and I've not actually checked out uh, post Korea um, all that much. So we're actually going to check it out. What's this guy want? Constellation Taurus. Is that guy going to try and blow me up? Like I said, I do have a wanted level. Let's open the door. This is the uh, racing M50, by the way. It's such a cool looking ship. Love it. Done a couple of videos on it, I think, but it, man, it looks so cool. All right, let's do this. Hopefully. Oh no, he's landing. Okay, good. I was a little bit white. What the frick? There's a... <laughs> Someone's crashed their ship here. Can you see that? That light doesn't work through the force field. Interesting. Okay, we'll just go over slightly to the right here, slowly. There's a lot of issues with doors lately and just exploding. Uh, it's not cool, but I think we're okay. In fact, here's a here's a guy that died recently. <laughs> Hello, sir. He looks fine. He, he's enjoying his life. He's uh, he's having a good time. Right. Um. So yeah, post Korea. Uh, so if you don't know, you can remove your crime stat in Star Citizen, but they recently updated it. Um, I, I haven't been to it lately, so I don't really know what to expect. I think it's... Is it on 7? Security pros. There we go. So yeah, it's changed. Um, I'm a little bit worried, actually, because I'm pretty sure if I try and remove it, people are going to try and shoot me, so... Or come after me. So it's going to be a little bit stressful. I think I did it a long time ago. And it all went completely wrong, and I've never come back since. So, let's see how we get on. As you can see, uh, I don't have a massive wanted level, but I do have a wanted level. It's, it's quite substantial. I think, uh, I don't think I can pay off three. I think you can pay off one and two. If I'm wrong, this whole entire video is pointless. But hey, at least we got a video. <laughs> at least we're making videos for the YouTubes. Right. Also, it's... I don't know, it might be fun to watch me get shot by someone who's trying to be good cop. Well, no, actually, bad cop, because I'm not a bad guy. I'm just trying to do bad missions. Zoom. Okay, so, from what I remember last time, you have to fly near it and not get shot and, like, hide in it somehow. I'm assuming you can still do that. Oh, there's a ship here. A little Merlin. Alright, so this guy's gonna try and shoot me. Oh god, this is gonna get spicy. No, not the missiles. Oh, oh, jeez, oh, this is a lot. Ow. Oof. Oh. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good. Now, there is also. <laughs> Classic Star Citizen. There is a weird bug right now where if you touch the land, like, I've, I've, it actually happened to me in a live stream. If you put your feet down on this, I don't know what's going on with my gun, um, you can die sometimes for absolutely no reason. So let's see if that's going to happen. No. But my. <laughs> but my gut. Wow, Star Citizen, come on. Really? What? Hang on, let's put away the gun. <laughs> Try that again. There we go. All right, we're good. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there. That was seriously weird. This looks so good, by the way. It's awesome. All right, now, uh, there are going to be security guards in here. Previously, there wasn't, so I think... What the... Jesus... Oh my word. I didn't expect there to be people on the frickin' pads. Well, at least the crime stat is now official. Alright. Jeez, I had to be quick there. That was proper sketchy. Hello! Here to reduce my crime stat. Hope that's cool. Okay. This is actually freaking scary. <laughs> Before, this was stressful enough when there wasn't NPCs, like, watching you. The fact now there's NPCs watching you makes this a whole lot more scary. Okay, actually, I don't think there's anyone else here. 
Okay, we're good. Nice. All right, cool. Oh, okay, can I... Oh, I've got to get... This is such a dumb system, by the way. Why can't I just... It's easier if I stand up, press I, put this in my hand. <laughs> Why can't... What? Grab. Why can't I not just press the button? For real. I can't grab that for some reason. Oh, wait. Hang on. Let's log out. Grab. Inspect. Right. Right. There we go. Why do I keep throwing it on the floor? What? Please. Chris. This is stressful enough. <laughs> ah, I've only got one, and if this one doesn't work, I'm actually screwed. I've come here for literally no reason. Wait, where'd it go? Please tell me it's in my inventory. Hang on. Not in my inventory. It's on my side. Okay, thank goodness for that. Okay. Insert. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh my word, please. Okay, so this bar has to go across for me to get access to the terminal to remove my crime stat. Um, basically, players will now get a notification saying there is someone doing exactly what I'm doing. And uh, if they kill me, they get a reward. Also, there's a bit of PvP gameplay, which is kind of cool. So, there we go. Press continue. Just got to keep it chill. And uh, proceed with caution. It's actually going up pretty fast. There we go. But yeah, I am kind of terrified. Enemies are going to turn up. Wait, what is that? Is that, is that a passcode? Oh, for the drugs thing. I'm not interested in that right now. I just want to get... Right, nice. Locating records. Okay, dismiss. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> just get rid of my crime stat, please. Why is there not a dismissal? This takes so long. I've committed so many crimes. Aggravated assault. Uh, diplomatic immunity. Yeah, I would actually like to come back and do this panel thing and get some loot. I think that would be a really cool gameplay loot, but I think it's a little bit much to do on my own. So, need to do some group gameplay. Last one. Nice. I'm a free man. That actually wasn't so bad. He says, get shot in the head, literally. Right, okay, cool. Let's, the thing is now, I'm trespassing, so now I need to get out without shooting anyone? Because otherwise I'll just end up with an armed crime stat, right? So, <laughs> I just need to run past the bodies. Good job we shot them before we came in. Now we are going to get a little bit of drama leaving, but I've brought a far ship, as you saw. So it should be okay, he says. Um, enter pilot seat. Alright, here we go. Let's load up the quantum. And go! Ooh, shoot! Quickly! <laughs> oh. Oh, go! Oh! Woohoo! Out of there! Oh. Nice. All right. Now we can get back to what we were doing. <laughs> I guess I'll uh, show you that as well because it's pretty fun. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is what I've been working on for the past like week, honestly. Uh, so I've been leveling up and building my reputation in the assassin, um, sort of quote unquote bad assassin thing. That's why I had a crime stat. Um, I need to be level six, so I've got maybe three more hits to do. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit more smarter though. I'm going to get some stuff. So I'm going to get some tiger claws, which allow me to disable comma rays. I'm also going to get a big ship uh, that will blow stuff up. So let's go back to Grim Hex and uh, get ourselves prepared. So Grimmy, Grim Hex. I actually really like doing the comma rays. <laughs> it just like gives you so much flexibility for the game. You can do whatever you want after that. Um, but yeah, like, you'll see what I mean 
I'll see you when we're in the shop. All right, little landing here for review. I always like doing landings and saying, rate me, rate my landing in the comment section. It's always fun. Uh, right, so we've got our door. Am I upside down? <laughs> uh, no, actually, I'm not. Great. Here we go. Wait, hang on. Before I do this, let's just turn on head tracking. Hello. Head tracking? There we go. Makes it a little bit easier. Do, do, do. This isn't so much a landing, more of a stopping. <laughs> so fun, because you've got the wheels. Obviously, most uh, it just most ships in the game have wheels, but like these little ones, you can cut. It kind of feels like a real aircraft. It's kind of got a real IRL vibe, you know. I don't know. I just like flying in and cutting the engines. Not really so much of a landing, more of a perching my ass. Also, why the heck have I got a thing on my screen? That's really weird and annoying. Okay, so let's go and buy some Tiger Claws. Uh, I don't know if I said already, but the Tiger Claws basically allow you to hack the terminals. Um, you have to buy them like this. It's kind of odd. Can't buy multiple as well. You have to buy one at a time, which is fairly frustrating. Processing. Is this going to error out? If this error errors out, sorry, I'm going to have to go into a different server. Please? Chris? Please make it work. Through the power of Star Citizen, I command you to work. No, it didn't work. <laughs> An error has occurred. Please, I need this. Right, let's try buying another one. Come on, man. Yes, it works. Sweet. All right, that's the lucky tiger claw. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to get three. I don't know why I can't buy multiple. It's so stupid. All right, let's just buy four in case I can never buy tiger claws ever again. <laughs> nice. Okay, so the other thing I need to do as well is I need to take off all this freaking beautiful fantastic gear because quite frankly I don't really need it it's a bit unnecessary I will keep the trousers on just so I can carry a weapon a multi-tool and a multi uh, claw thing of a bob um, put two on there and then we'll put some on my trousers wait I was carrying railgun ammo huh that's an interesting thing. Yeah, the trousers, just the trousers get up is a pretty good shout because you can carry some food, you can carry all your tools. Honestly, this is all you need. Also, this is a weird thing I hope they fix soon. Can I zoom in at all? Yeah, look at this. Why are they sticking out that way? <laughs> so weird. <laughs> is that a tiger claw in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? Okay, next up on our <laughs> things we got to do is uh, grab the Drake. Cutlass Black here. It's the perfect Drake Dragonfly carrier. Uh, so I can get to the comms array without being completely and utterly destroyed. Uh, it's a pretty good little ship. Also, this does actually take out a Valkyrie with its missiles without me having to like engage. So I can do one bounty plus take out a comms array. I guess the argument you could make is you could do all of these missions, get a crime stat, and then do what we just did. Um, it's tricky because like either you do the preemptive work where you you know disable the comoray and then do it and then repeat or at the end of the day you remove your crime stat personally i think the comoray is a lot easier um it's probably a lot more hassle like um in terms of it's a bit more annoying to do but like i do not like going to korea it's stressful and also with the bug about you can just die on the platform. I don't They might have fixed that. But I've definitely experienced that. And I've definitely seen people moan about it. So the risk of me just going there and dying. And then having to respawn and all the rest of it. Like that I'm not a fan of. I'd much rather just do the comoray. Do the hit. Rinse and repeat you know. Um, it's just a little less stressful. Anyway this is a cool ship if you've never seen it before. It's literally bread and butter Star Citizen in my opinion. Like everybody knows this ship. It's pretty cool. It's got really nice bulky engines on the side, which are really easy to kill and blow off. But yeah, it's a pretty good all-round ship, honestly. It does quite a lot. Small crew. Um, 
Yeah, it does everything. Oh, look, there's our friend again. <laughs> Hello, friend. Can I hit him with the windshield? No, I don't want to get a crime stat. Screw it. Let's do it. It might be funny. And I don't think I'll get a crime stat. Blunk. Oh, my. <laughs> I thought I thought he actually got stuck to the wind mirror then. That was hilarious. Uh, right, okay, so you might have noticed I've taken off without the Drake Dragonfly, which is a little hovercraft. We've actually got to go and get it. Because this game has got weird things in it, um, we're going to have to go, I think we can go to mining it. We've got, basically, because this game's weird, sorry, completely cut myself off. Because this game's weird, um, actually, uh, Grim Hex might be different, but... You can't fly up or down with the hovercraft, and so you can't leave the hangars. Uh, especially when they're like roof hangars, if that makes sense. So, we've got to go to a landing pad to get that. It's a bit of a faff, but yeah. Anyway, I'll see you when we load in the uh, Dragonfly, which is a freaking cool ship. Alright, here we go. Look at this. Freaking beautiful stuff. Beautiful scenes. Love the Drake Cutlass. It's a great ship. It looks beautiful. Uh, right, where is this outpost we're looking for? Hey, what's that? Is that a crash ship? Dude, that, that, it's a rock, Ollie. Keep moving. It looked like a ship. Where is this? What, where is it? There it is. Okay, cool. Hard to see these places. Alright, landing gear. Aw, oh, man, this looks cool. Sorry, but it does. <laughs> it always looks good, doesn't it? Right, open up. Wee. VTOL. And let's park out by the garage. Oh, there's a freelancer here. Big old chungus. Smooth like butter. Wait, I'm in the wrong place though. That's a shame. I don't want to walk too far. There we go. Launch complete. Launch complete. <laughs> right. I'm going to just hope this guy's not interested in my ship. Can't be bothered to move it. He's probably not even in the game. What the? <laughs> There's an there is another ship here. There's some crashes. Some people have crashed. It's pretty cool. He's probably just buying stuff. Luckily for him, I'm not a pirate. Well, I am, but he doesn't know. I'm off duty. I'm a pirate off duty. Is that cool? Right. So, any loot? Oh, yes. Hello. We love the loot. Uh, loot de loot de loot. We've already got one of those, but we'll grab that. And that'll do. Right. Um, Welcome to the ASOC Fleet Manager. Right, so we're going to have to claim it. Alright, there it is. It's so freaking cool. It's genuinely like an awesome uh, thing. I, I love the Dragonfly. Uh, I wish he could by default put it in ships like when you spawn ships i wish you could just hit a button and say please load in my dragonfly as well because this thing is just so awesome um, and as i said it is perfect for getting away uh from missiles and things like that like it's a great little craft to infiltrate and do pirate stuff it's just it's brilliant uh all right ready up oh look there's another ship like 800 meters away but this is what I was talking about earlier. You can't um, fly up. It's not a spaceship. It's a ground vehicle. So you can't just decide to, like, you know, shoot up in that direction and fly. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. I wish it did. It'd be so much cooler if it did. Oh, it's also really scary. <laughs> so you do have to be a little bit careful. But uh, it does fit very nicely. Now I've got that butter song in my head. Smooth like butter. All right, beautiful stuff. So always be holding, go down, uh, kill the engines, and it will just sink slowly. Beautiful. Right, isn't that nice? So we're going to use that um, to great effect in a moment. Let's go and find our bounty. So we know which comma ray to disable. Such as... What? <laughs> um... What? 
Hang on, give me a minute. The guy just died in my ship? I I have no words. I I can't explain that, officer. So what I think's happened here is I think this guy has installed a tracker on my ship. His own body. So we're gonna go a little bit. We're gonna stop. And I'm absolutely going to like get rid of this chap. Because, like I say, if he's just walked in and killed himself, I do not want him tracking me. So, come here, you. <laughs> Filthy tracker. Alright. <laughs> this is genius, by the way. I've seen people do this in other people's videos. They basically kill themselves in your ship, and then you just leave it there because you don't know what else to do. Can you just go away, please? Thank you. And because the game gives you a death marker, you've basically got a permanent tracker on someone you want to follow. Um, which is, like I say, is genius. But I'm not interested. Cargo has been ejected. Where is he? There he is. See ya! <laughs> right. Anyway, on with the mission. Okay, so we've got our mission here. Uh, we're going after Sunny. Uh, so it's on Daymar, which is cool, but that means we need to take out the Comoray over Daymar. So I'm going to set a waypoint for that, and then it should be not a problem. So I'll see you when we get to the Comoray. All right, we're at the Comoray. Uh, we are 20 kilometers away, which is as close as I want to get, because if you get any closer, they will open fire on you with missiles and blow up this, uh, quite honestly, delightful ship. So, I am going to leave my ship here. Engines uh, leave the engines on, sorry. Engines so you say, com link established. It must have been down there for a minute. I don't think anyone's here. Anyway, so this is the fun bit. This is where we go and infiltrate. Get out the code of pistol. Shouldn't have any issues, but you never know. Uh... Okay. And if I'm smart and I've left it in slow mode, it should just slowly back out. Lovely. That was a weird camera angle. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Cool. All right. So now I can fly around. Did I just see someone there or was that my ship? Mm. That's weird. <laughs> that's suspicious. Right. Anyway, so that's going to sit there. No one really... It's its very unlikely anyone drops by. Um, it does happen, but I can't be bothered to get off the seat and get back on. So, you can see the little green dots there. That's the Comoray. And what we're going to do is we're going to get close. It's going to open fire. We won't get hit. Because um, once we're close enough, basically... Kind of like the security thing earlier, uh, Security Post Korea. It won't be able to shoot us once we're close enough to it. The only problem is, if you're a big ship, it will be able to do that. So, And also the missiles will lock onto you. Because we're in this thing, the missiles can't track you. I don't really know. Or at least I've never been, able, I've never been hit in that situation. So you can see the turrets on it. So we've got to be quick. I will really overshot that. Ugh. This would be really bad if the turrets open fire on me. But yeah, here we go. I'm just going to get nice and close. And you see the turrets over there. So they're not going to be able to shoot me if I park up right here. You see that? They, they're like blocked. So that's good. So I'll leave that just there. So now it's a case of uh, going down. No one's here. And sometimes, people leave you a tiger claw in there, but... Oh wait, no. Disconnect. Proceed. What? That was weird. Someone must have come in and turned it back on. <laughs> this time we didn't need a tiger claw. Sometimes you do, most of the time you do. But this time we didn't. So there's no Comoré. That was weird. And I'm pretty sure that will just t stay off until someone comes along and turns it back on, if that makes sense. So, let's get back on there. And now we head back to the ship. 
pretty simple stuff, really. It will shoot at us in a minute. No, we're good. Okay, cool. So now we can go and, like, commit the crime without getting the crime stat. It's that simple. It does take a little bit of time and set up, um, but as I said, totally worth it because now I don't have to risk going to jail and or go to security post Korea afterwards. So in that respect, yeah, totally worth it. All right, here's the mothership. Which way are we facing that way? Let's go a little bit faster. In we go. Turn the lights off. Don't need that. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Actually gorgeous. And turn off the engines. Jump off. Like I say. Now we can uh, do whatever we want without a crime stat. Genius. Okay, so this is the nice and easy bit, honestly. So we're looking for a Valkyrie. That will be our target, probably. Um, I'm just going to confirm that with names. So we're looking for Sunny here. Um, unfortunately, it's a bit weird. It doesn't actually give you that info until you get pretty close. Uh, okay, that's who we're looking for, but the name is like mixed up, which is super weird. But because they're good guys, they're not actually going to go after me and attack me for no reason. Um, I can actually start firing at them while they're stood still and they're going to be like, what? Something's happening. So now they're going to start coming after me, but hopefully I can do this before they actually come after me. So another one. I haven't actually decided to come and attack me. I think the server's a bit slow today. But even if they did, usually you can get this off before they get to you. Okay. Okay, they're coming towards me now. <laughs> and that should be job done. No? Okay. Gonna have to do a bit of... Um, bit of shooting. Fine by me. He's pretty damaged, so... Come on. There we go. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at that! Oh my word, that looks so cool. <laughs> oh, mayday, mayday! <laughs> oh, that's great stuff. Whoa! Holy! That looked cool. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here, because uh, now they're mad, and I don't like annoying people unless I uh, absolutely need to, so let's drop by Port Olisar here and reload. Actually, we'll figure out where the next bounty is. Okay, I have no idea how much of that I recorded. Uh, my bad, I paused the recording, and yeah, we just did the Comores. You can see it's actually, like, uh, it's, it's gone. It got disabled. No one killed us. We got back, we parked up, and now let's get on to our target. Yeah, that's a shame I screwed that up. Um, <sighs> classic. At least we notice now, not in like 20 minutes time. Okay, so a little bit different this time, we're in an asteroid field. Um, same exact principle though, get up to them. Uh, we need to be around eight and a half kilometers close. Um, but just like last time, they shouldn't really react because they are good guys, and right now I'm a good guy, so I'm not committing any crimes by flying 8,000 kilometers near them, uh, which is good for us because it means we can line up, take our time, and then shoot them. The only thing I would say, uh, if you're going to replicate what I'm doing here, is don't take your time, like, get on with it, because someone might be on their way to turn the comlink back on, and what you don't want to do is someone to turn it on after you fired the missiles, um, and then you <laughs> and then you get the crime stat. So, yeah, I have had that happen, which was sad because I fired the missiles. Comlink comes back on, they blow up. I get a crime stat. It's a sad time. So yeah, just crack on, and it's just you got to deal with the risk of that. It's pretty unlikely, um, but yeah. Right. So Maisie here, just got to get within eight kilometers, and then they're gonna blow up. And then we get a little bit more rep. 
Happy days, right? Let's just speed this up. I can't stand this slow approach. All right, that'll do a little bit more. There we go. Same again, please. Loading up nicely. Mm -hmm. Coming towards me now. I'll have to see it. Fire everything! It's great, isn't it? They are coming towards me. There we go. So I didn't need... There you go. Sometimes it. Sometimes you get it. Sometimes you don't. I've actually saved myself four missiles. Oh, God. They're coming after me. Oh. Quantum. Goodbye. Nice. And we're out of there. That's literally it, guys. Uh, so let's have a look where we are in terms of... So we need to do one more. I'll do one more. And then my next video will be the F8 Lightning video, which I wasn't going to do. I wasn't going to upload, but you guys want it, so it's on the way. Okay, I just refueled the missiles. Or refueled? Restocked the missiles, sorry. Um, and I think I lucked out. I don't actually need to go to the Comoray for this one. It's actually already disabled. I'm not entirely sure how it works, whether you have to do per planet, or you knock out one and the whole um, general area gets knocked out, all of Crusader. I don't think it works like that, but... It just maybe it's a coincidence that this Comoray at Selin is also disabled. Just seems like a bit of a weird coincidence. So yeah, I mean, saved me like five minutes. So happy days. The fact there's like zero uh, variety in these missions is actually in our favor because I know pretty much who I'm going after straight away. Um, I mean, the names do help when you get close enough, but there we go. All right. There we go. Let's fire these. Do, do, do. There's quite a lot of them there, so if they turn around and come after us, we're going to be in trouble. Right, switch over to the size twos. Do we need the last four? Usually not, but... Let's see. There we go. <laughs> like clockwork. All right, let's get out of here. And then one final thing I've got to say. Right, so if I now look at our status here, we should. There we go. We're master assassin. So now if I go to my contract manager, I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to save it for my next video. So make sure you subscribed. Oh, it hasn't come in. Uh, hang on. Personal. Mercenary. Yeah, so it's 45,000. And what that is, that is going to give us the ability to take on the delightful, the wonderful, the glorious. <laughs> it's a bit eccentric. Uh, F8 Lightning, uh, along with a hammerhead. So that, my friends, will save for another day. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.